All right, Shalom to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. All right, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, Yahweh is the one of the world ignorantly calls God. All right, Yahweh, his name means he exists or he to be or he is, with Yah meaning he and Hawa meaning to be or exist. All right, and Yahweh is not a so-called white man; he's a so-called black man. All right, Baha Shum means in the name, Ba means in, Ha means the, and Shum means name. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. All right, Yahweh Shai is the one who the world ign ignorantly calls Jesus. All right, with Yah meaning He, and Yahweh Shai meaning save or deliver. So Yahweh Shai's name means He is the Savior or He is the Deliverer. Bahasham once again means in the name, and Racha Kodash means Holy Spirit, with Racha meaning spirit and Kodash meaning holy. So I said all the praise, his honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the elders and apostles of great millstone, never well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. All right. Um, so. This is a response to a comment, all right? A comment I got from a, this video I did, like two, I, I believe two weeks ago. Video part two of a two. Part two of two I did on the video. Let me just see something, Salakia. Um, yeah, part two of two out of two on the video I did called The Elect Ain't In The Business Of Giving Up, which they're not, all right? It's by person named servant 44 all right by the way uh servant 44 if you're watching this okay if you're um if your father and his father is a so-called negro west indian haitian latino native american indian indian a seminole indian all right if your father's father are any of those nationalities or ethnicities i just listed all right then you're an israelite and you need to re re you need to repent of your wicked ways and return to your true power, Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, which means in the name, all right, of his son Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah, okay? Yahweh Shai is the actual name of the Messiah, not Jesus, okay? And Yahweh, which is who is the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, who is his son, they're not so called white men, they're so called black men, and they are only for. The nation of Israel, which are the nationalities I just listed. Okay? <clears throat> but respond in response to this comment, so I'm gonna just read through this real quick, you know. So he said, These are the hundred and forty four thousand. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Okay. This is verse for it says, These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. All right, so, you know, he commented that. All right, <clears throat> Revelation chapter 14, verses 1, 4, and 5. Then he said, A virgin is someone who has no husband or wife. Now, typically, yeah, virgin is that, all right? But in this sense, all right, slack in this scripture, all right, Revelation 14 and 4, all right, that's not, you know, a, 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 normal, a normal virgin as you would think, all right? It's not talking about, you know, men who have never slept with women before. That's not what it's saying, okay? And then he, you know, used this scripture to try to back it up. Leviticus 21 and 3, it says, And for his sister, a virgin... That is nigh unto him, which hath had no husband for her, may he be defiled. All right. Then he, then he said, to defile thyself with woman or man is to commit fornication with thy neighbor's wife or husband. <clears throat> then he said, moreover, thou shalt not carnally with thy neighbor, lie with thy neighbor's wife. I'm read that again. Leviticus 18 and 20. Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. All right. So, you know, he's trying... He doesn't understand it, all right, but, you know, he's using scriptures to try to, you know, support what he's saying, but that's not the right context, okay? Slack, let me, let me say that again. Well, is you know, 
it's not the it's not the correct interpretation of of it. All right, as as he's you know, which is you know, he he's she's trying to break down the scripture, but he he's not doing it the right way. Okay. Then um, he said God means to speak deceit, which he's right. All right. John chapter 1 verse 47, it says, Yahweh Shai saw Nathanael coming to him and saith of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Okay, and then John 1 47, he quote, he, you know, listen to the scripture. And he said, All 144,000 will be Israelites by blood, right? And that a new, and, a new, and also, um, I'm going to add, you know, just in response to him, all right, the, um, the innumerable multitude also are Israelites. All right. Only Israelites are getting saved, not any other heathen nations. Only the Israelites, only the nation, only the only that remnant of the nation of Israel. OK. Anybody who gets on a chariot when Yahweh Shai returns are Israelites. All right. You know. It says Nathaniel cannot be 144,000 because he has passed away, but the Most High gave him a compliment because he spoke no guile. Um. <clears throat> It says, and so there are many Israelites alive today that will be 144,000. So spread the word and pray for those that want to be used by the Most High and praise be the Most High. You know, I don't really understand this point of, um, you know, like overall, like what he was trying to get to, but he misinterpreted the scriptures. All right. Then I, then I responded to him. And I said, the virgin described in Revelation 14 simply means that the 144,000 won't be pierced or penetrated with any other philosophies. We don't know who the 144,000 are officially as of yet. All right, we know that they're Israelites, you know. Revelation, the seventh chapter, tells you that, okay? You know, but then he said right here, I have a question. What's the difference between a virgin and a chaste, and a chaste virgin? And then he said, then he put these scriptures, Leviticus 21 and 14, a widow or, div or a divorced woman or profane or in the heart of these shall he not take, but he shall take a version of his own people to wife. Then he lists his 2 Corinthians 11 and 2, For I am jealous over you with, God, with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Hamashiach. I told him I'll do a lesson. All right? Yeah, so as I'm about to get into it, but let me just repeat one more time. You know, Servant 44, if you're watching this, okay, and this doesn't only go for him, but, you know, if you're a so-called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Latino, Native American, or Seminole Indian, all right, on your father's side, if your father's is, is, is any of those nationalities I listed, I just listed, okay, then you're an Israelite, all right? You know, and if you haven't done so already, you need to, re you need to return um, to Yahweh, which is the name, which is, who is the Heavenly Father, okay, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which is the true name, which is the Messiah, all right? And Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are their true names, okay? You need to, you know... Call upon those names, Yahweh, which is, you need to call upon those names, all right? Yahweh, Bahashem, which Bahashem means in the name, and then Yahweh Shai. So what you're saying is Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, all right? And you need to learn these scriptures, you know, from the, from, um, the, 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 you need to learn these scriptures from Great Millstone, all right? The Israelite camp known as Great Millstone, because Great Millstone has the 100% truth, okay? They have the truth. All right. You know, all you got to do is go in YouTube, type in, you know, Great Millstone Israelites Camp videos. All right. You know, that's all you got to do. OK. But um, get into the lesson. All right. So I'm going to go through it. OK. So starting off here, because he said a virgin is someone who has no husband or wife. They enlisted Leviticus 21 and 3. All right. Because understand these virgins that's not these virgins that's mentioned here, it's not saying that these men are literal virgins, okay? Like it's not saying that these men haven't had sex with women. You can have sex with a woman. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, Apostle Paul in in First Corinthians the seventh chapter goes into that. Okay? But I'm gonna start from the top. This is Revelation chapter fourteen, starting in verse one. It says, And I looked and lo a lamb. A lamb, the lamb is Yahweh Shai, real quick. All right. This is the book of St. John. It's a lot of St. John chapter 1 and verse 29. It says, The next day John seeth Yahweh Shai coming unto him, 
and saith, Behold, the Lamb of Yahweh, which taketh away the sin of the world. So, so um, John the Baptist saw Yahweh Shai coming, you know, coming towards him, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High. All right. And he said, Which taketh away the sin of the world, which is that world going in, in the Greek is cosmos. So it's talking about Israel. All right. But you see, it referred to Yahweh Shai as the Lamb. So Yahweh Shai is the Lamb. Okay. The Lamb of the Most High. All right. It says, so Revelation 14 and 1, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the, on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Okay? And this means that the name of the Lord, all right, you know, and the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding was within them, was within these men. Okay? You know, they would have all of that. All right? Verse 2. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Okay. And this is talking about this truth where it says, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. This is talking about this truth. All right. Which is as a lovely song being played. Okay. All right. We're going to get that in a minute. Verse three. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne. And that song is talking about the truth. Okay, it says, and before the beasts and the four and the elders. All right, let me read that again. Revelation 14 and 3. And they sung as it were a new song, the truth, before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And watch this. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. It says, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand. So what is so that so is what it's saying right there, all right? And no man can learn that song but the hundred and forty four thousand is pretty much going to how, you know, everyone can't get this truth. Okay? Because remember it mentioned it it says and they sung as were new songs talking about the truth. And nobody could learn that song except for these men. So not everybody could understand this truth. Let me get this real quick. This is the book of Matthew, chapter eleven. Starting at verse 16, it says, But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows. And our fellows, all right, are the Israelites. Okay, the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Native American Indians, the Seminole Indians. All right. Verse 17 is saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. All right. It says, We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. All right, so that's what, you know, us brothers here in Great Mills don't do. All right, and the sincere brothers who teach only the doctrine that Great Mills don't teach us. All right, you know, we're calling unto our fellows, you know, which are the Israelites, we're preaching this truth to them, okay? And they were supposed to come to this truth, but they haven't, you know? Majority of our people have not. Only the elect is the ones that's going to come to this truth. You see, but it's but the scriptures is saying it, you know, it is referring to it as like, you know, as like it's a song. Okay. You know, Revelation 11 is slocking. Matthew 11 and 17 again. And saying, we have piped unto you when ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you when ye have not lamented. Let me just look at this word here. Uh, for piped unto you. Matthew 11 and 17. Strong's G, 832. Aoleo. 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 It says to play on the flute to pipe. You know? So it's talking, you know, it, it's, it's, it's likening it to, you know, a song. Okay? <clears throat> you know? It's likening th this truth to a song. All right? And us brothers here are, are you know, we're, we, you know we're, 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 we're teaching the truth or, in other words, you know, or let me say it like this: Us brothers here in Great Millstone, and it's the like-minded brothers that teach that teach only the same doctrine as Great Millstone. All right, we're teaching the truth, or in other words, you know, or, or, or we're sing, or we're singing a song. All right, you know, or in other words, teaching the truth. Okay, to our fellows, which are the which are the children of Israel. All right, but the majority of them. The majority of our fellows, the majority of the children of Israel, all right, the majority of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, 
all right, have not came to the truth. You know, they ignore it. They don't want them to do with it, etc. Okay. Now, let me get a precept. This is the book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Israel, which once again are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans on your father's side. If your father was a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, then you are an Israelite. Okay? It said, Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. All right? The majority of our people... Or the majority of the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latino, Native American, Indians, the Seminole Indians, all right, you know, what 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 the majority of them are seeking for is the truth. This is why they're in, you know, all these different philosophies and religions out there like Christianity, Islam, etc. All right. They're in those other religions and philosophies, you know, because what? They're looking for the truth, okay? However, what does it say next? But the election hath obtained it. See that? The election hath obtained it. So only a small few of the Israelites are going to receive this truth, going to be able to understand and grasp this truth. Okay? Uh, election. Strong's G, 1589. Eklage. 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 And it says, a thing or person chosen of persons, Yahweh's elect. Okay? So these people, which, you know, are Israelites, these elect, all right? They're, you know, they're a small number, all right? You know, compared to the rest of the nation of Israel. Okay? And they're the only ones that's going to be able to obtain the truth. Okay, it says, and the rest were blinded. So you see, just like it said, no man could learn that song, all right, except the 144,000. And here it's saying, only the elect are going to be able to obtain the truth. And the rest of the nation of Israel are going to be blinded. So when we go back to Revelation, the 14th chapter, all right, and it says, Revelation 14 and 3, again, it says, and they sung as it were a new song, the truth. Before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Okay. You see, so this is talking about how, you know, really this truth is only for the elect. All right. You know, so all you other camps out there that's not teaching the correct doctrine, you know, hey man. Matter you know, you um Yeah. Let me read that one more time. Revelation 14 and 3 says, And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. So no matter how much you can break it down to these Jakes out here, you know, these other Israelites, these, these you know, majority of the so-called black Hispanic state Americans, you could break it down as simple as possible to them. All right. But they're not going to get it. All right, because it said the Lord blinded them. The rest were blinded. All right. Now, here's the point, you know, getting to the point of what the um that, uh, person was asking. Revelation 14 and 4 says, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. I'm going to pause right. I'm going to stop right there. All right. It says, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. So. I got a note here, all right? So this doesn't mean that you can't have sex with a woman. You know, and now I'm going to get this. Proverbs chapter 5, verses 1 through 3, which goes into holding on to the knowledge of this truth because in the third verse, it talks about the lips of a strange woman, all right? Which is talking about the alluring and seductive religions or philosophies out there, okay? You know, for example, that soft... Well, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. This is the book of Proverbs chapter. And this is the thing. You have to go precept upon precept to understand the Bible. You can't read the scriptures like a novel. You have to go, you, have, you know, you have to go precept upon precept. Okay. Proverbs chapter five, verses one through three. My son, attend unto my wisdom and bow thine ear to my understanding that thou mayest regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge. Okay. 
Watch this, verse 3. <clears throat> For the lips of a strange woman drop as in honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. Okay, so it's, it's you know, going into what? It's going to these other, you know, philosophies, our religions, okay? You know, they come with that soft-spoken voice. You know, for example, some religions, they don't say, you can't, they say you can't say a cuss word. All right, and some religions, they cater to everyone, never, never correct anyone. You know, they give people smooth words, you know? And for example, Christianity, they say all nations can be saved. You don't got to do nothing. All you got to do is believe in that white man and that cracker, you know? And, and, and they say you're going to go to heaven, you know? But... That's not according to the scriptures, okay? So, the lips of a strange woman, all right, it's talking about, you know, and that, you know, it's, 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 it's talking about those those scriptures I just read in Proverbs 5, verses 1 through 3, it's, just, it's talking about holding on to this truth, okay? Because in the third verse, as we just read, it was talking about the lips of a strange woman, you know, and the alluring and seductive, you know, you know, religions and philosophies out there. So that's what it's going into. Okay. So this is not actually talking about, you know, where it says these are they which were not defiled women. Those women aren't lit aren't, aren't physical women. All right. It's talking about other ph religions or philosophies. Okay. Because you can have sex with a woman, man. Once again, I said in first Corinthians the seventh chapter, Apostle Paul goes into that. All right. You know, <clears throat> so this means they, so when it says these are they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins, this means that they weren't defiled by these different religions. They are pure slash untouched by the philosophies of this world. Once this truth entered and cleansed them, they didn't go back. All right. And then I'm going to get the other one. All right. Scripture you mentioned, 2 Corinthians 11 and 2. Okay. Let me get that real quick. Matter of fact, I'm going to get it and I'm going to Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 2. All right. And it says, For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Hamashiach. All right. Let me look at this word, you know, chaste or chaste. Strong's G53, Hognos. 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 It says... Excited, reverence, venerable, sacred, pure, pure from carnality, chaste, modest, pure from every fault, immaculate, clean. All right, and it said virgin, parthenos. All right, it doesn't mean, you know, here's the thing, like, you know, you do have the word virgin out there, you know, which means, you know, which, you know, means, you know, a man, woman who had, or a man or woman who hasn't had sex. But in this script, in, 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 you know, in second, in second, um, Revelation 14, okay, <clears throat> you know, it, it, when it says, for there are virgins, you know, it's not that you pretty much got to have the correct understanding, the correct context, all right, which you're going to get, you know, from if the Lord, you know, allows you to understand, all right, from the, from the doctrine that the apostles and there was the great millstone teach, okay, you're going to get. The um, you're gonna get that, you know. They, then you'll be able to understand, have the correct context, all right, and the correct understanding, all right. You know, so a chaste version or a chaste version, okay. You know, pretty much a chaste version, meaning a virgin that isn't laying down with all these different other philosophies or religions. You know, they're not, you know, in all these other different, you know, philosophies and religions. You know, they're not in Christianity, Islam. Okay, these men, okay, you know, <clears throat> they're not, they're, they're untouched from these different philosophies and religions of the world. Once they heard this truth, boom, they in it and they, they you know, they're not looking nowhere else. They're in this truth. All right. They can't be penetrated with any other, any, no Christianity, no Islam, etc. Let me get this scripture because this reminds me of this scripture too. This is the book of St. John chapter four. 
Starting in verse 13, Yahweh shall answer and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. And he was talking about physical, you know, like actual water right there, you know, like the water you drink. You know, because after when you drink that, you know, you, you get thirsty again, right? Verse 14, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him, all right, shall never thirst. And that water is talking about the truth, okay? And then it says, shall never thirst, all right? So, meaning once we find this truth, we won't be seeking elsewhere for the truth. We'll feel like we're, we're at home, you know, we're no longer thirsty, okay? You see? This doctrine that the apostles and others great millstone teach, you know, hey, I'll tell you myself, I feel like I'm at home, bro. I know I'm at home, actually, you know? Let me get that word thirst real quick. Strong's G, 1372. Dipsao. Dipsao. Dipsao, and it says, Figuratively, those who are said to thirst, who painfully feel their want of and eagerly long for those things by which the soul is refreshed, supported, and strengthened. And what's that? This is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, that you learn from the apostles and others of the Great Millstone, okay? You know? Yeah, man, this 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 talking about this truth. So we wouldn't be thirsty. Okay. You know? And even relating it, cause so so pretty much what this scripture is saying, John 4 and 14, is you know, you know, when you when you and oh, it's like let me keep reading it says, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Which means this truth will lead into everlasting life or paradise or immortality. Okay? You know, but it says that I shall give him shall never thirst. You see? So, hey, the elect, all right, are going to receive this truth and they're not going to, and, you know, they're going to feel at home. You're not going to be, you know, thirsty or looking for the, you know, truth elsewhere. You know, you're not going to be looking for answers elsewhere. We have the truth and we're not going to be thirsty. Okay. Let me just see something real quick. Revelation 14. And four says they these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. You see, these are they which they these are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. And un, it's like it says and to the Lamb. All right, these were redeemed from among men. You know, and using a fishing example, the Lord put the truth out there. You know, and picked these men. You know. Think about it, you know, just picture it in your head, you know, someone going fishing, you know, boom, they cast, they cast, you know, the fishing rod out there. All right. And like, as Apostle Ronald was saying, you know, they're like, okay, I want these fish over here, that one over there, that one over there. So it's the same thing, you know, the Lord is doing with these particular men. Okay. And it's truth. All right. It says, being the first fruits unto your how unto the lamb. You know, these are going to be the one. These men are going to be the ones who rule first. They will be the governing body under Yahweh Shai in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, verse five. So now you know the difference. Okay, in response to your question. You said, "What's the difference between a virgin and a, and a chaste virgin?" You know, well, you know, like I was saying, you know, there's a um, virgin out there. You know, you know, there, there, there's you know one virgin. You know, to, in regards to a man. Or woman who hasn't had sex yet, right? Or you know, or sex in general, you know that there's one in it. But in this particular one that we're talking about here, Revelation 14, you know, as you mentioned up here, it says a virgin is someone who has no husband or wife. You know, the but you see, but this virgin is talking about men who haven't, men who are pure or untouched from the different religions. And philosophies of this world, okay. Once they have this truth, all right, they will, um, you know, you know, they're, they're not going back, all right. You know, these, these men aren't, these men are, um, these men are, you know, they're, they're not defiled by these different religions of this world, 
you know. That's what that's saying. So that's the difference. Okay? He said in the Chaz Virgin, yeah, the woman who Salakia. Salakia. Whoa, that was saying Salakia. <laughs> um a Chaz Virgin meaning a virgin that isn't laying down with all these different other philosophies or religions. Okay. You know? And then you said God means to speak deceit. Okay. Which it does, okay? And let me just look up and see what it says. If I just type in the word guile. Guile says slyer, cunning, intelligence. Let me just see. I know there's somebody out there who thinks that guile means cuss words. <laughs> you know, like like saying stuff like fuck or damn or something like that, you know? That's why it's important to look up words. The word curse doesn't even mean, you know, saying fuck or damn, you know? The words like that. All right, so guile. <clears throat> Strong's G, 1388, Dallas, Dallas. Dallas, and it says craft deceit, guile. So let's look at the word deceit. Deceit definition says the action or practice of deceiving, Salaki, which means, which Salaki means forgive me in the Hebrew. It says the action or practice of deceiving someone by concealing or misrepresenting the truth. You see? So, in other words, so deceit is pretty much a lie. If you holding back the truth for somebody, it means you telling them something else, you know? So, it's going to a lie. So, this even further proves that, so, because when you read Revelation 14 and 5 says, and in their mouth was found no guile, you see? So, this is this even shows you that it's, it's talking about, you know, doctrine, okay? It's not talking about actual women, all right? You know, it's not. This is this is going into doctrine, all right. It says that in their mouth was found no guile. So in these men's, in these particular men's mouth, all right, pretty much what the saying he's saying is these particular men they taught the hundred percent truth, all right. They didn't they didn't teach any deceit or lies, okay. You know, they didn't teach any deceit or lies, man. You know, so if, so if you have deceit in your doctrine. Deceit or lies in your doctrine, then you have guile in your doctrine, which the elect won't have. They'll be teaching the truth. It's it's written in the scriptures that the elect will be teaching the truth. Okay? And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the most high. Alright? So that's what that's going into. Okay? You know. You know, these these men were these so Guile going into, you know, these guile going into deceit or lies. All right. So the elect, and it says in there, and in their mouth was found no guile. So the elect will be teaching the truth. The, the, the elect will be teaching the actual truth. You know? So, you know, these other Israelite camps out here, you know, they ain't, you know, they saying what? How shy I ain't do miracles or. You know, what else? John the Baptist and the man. They got, these other camps have lies in their doctrine, man. You know? Trying to say in the MOTB is sin. The MOTB ain't sin. I mean, it's, it, now it's a sinful act, but the MOTB itself is not sin. It's that C hip, that micro, M I C R O C H I P. That's what that is. That, the M I C R O C H I P is the M, is the, the M of the, of the beast. Okay, you know, so hopefully that answers your question. All right, and Lord was edifying to the elect. All right, and um, yeah, man. Okay, so yeah, once again, Lord willing, you know. And by the way, let me just you know say it again. Uh, Servant forty four. If your father is a so called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Latino, Native American, Indian, or Seminole Indian. All right, then you are an Israelite of the nation. Of, you are a Hebrew Israelite of the nation of Israel. Okay, 
And you need to return to your power, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are, are not so-called white men like we have been taught to believe. They're not so-called white men with long stringy hair. No, they are. the scriptures describe them and tell that they are so-called black men. Okay? <clears throat> you know, and you have to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. All right, and learn the scriptures from the Israelite camp known as Great Millstone. All you got to do... It's literally go on YouTube, all right, type in Great Millstone, all right, um, Israelite camp videos, simple, you know, and you can subscribe to this channel, Apostles Live GMS 34th, okay, you know, Etc. Okay, you you know you can just subscribe to the um you can subscribe to Apostle Tahar's channel, you know. So hey man. You see, so hey, Lord willing <clears throat> Lord willing's lesson was that a fine. Alright. Lord willing that answered your question. Okay. But um I wanna give all the praises uh, I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rechakwadash, that will honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone ever well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, which in Hebrew is Shalom, so Shalom to the elect.